Hello, and uh, welcome back to the channel. And uh, yes, we are back with more of the Black Bag Comics um, series of videos. And today we are going to take a look at Image Comics again. Um, this time we are going to be looking at Wildstar. Um, Wildstar, um, what, yeah, Wildstar was one of those comics that came out along the, you know, what was called the second wave of the, um, of the, uh, creators that joined Image. Um, of course, you know, the first wave meaning the, the, the founders, you know, the McFarlands, the Jim Lees, the Liefelds, the Larson Silvestris, and all of those guys. And then came the second wave of uh, creators, um, you know, uh, Sam Keith, um, Dale Keown, um, and all of the, you know, um, who, who, who was it that did uh, Shaman's Tears? I'm trying to remember. But you know those those type of books that came after the initial wave of releases from the from the founders, and this is one of those books that came out um, by Al Gordon and Jerry Ordway. Uh, these guys came, if I'm not mistaken, came from uh, DC, so um, they uh, decided to jump on the um, independent scene. Um, with this book, um, you know, and decided to jump on, you know, that hop on that image comics train and released uh, Wildstar. Um, and uh, this was one of those comics that um, I thought was, was you know, interesting. Um, you know, um, it's not the most original concept, uh, and you'll see why in just a second. Um, but uh, just looking at this cover, you know, um, it is like typical 90s style, uh, you know, um, when you think about like, a, a, if this is, if I if didn't tell you what year this came out, you would, or what decade at least, you would definitely say, oh, that's 90s. And, you know, you got the, 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 the face covered in blood, uh, greeting teeth. Uh, plus the gimmick cover, which is an, uh, not only does it, does it have embossing, but you know, it's got the, the silver ink and the, um, and the embossed of blood. So yeah, it's, uh, this is your, you know, this is pretty much the nineties wrapped up in a, in a single image. All right. Um, no pun intended. Um, so let's hop on into this book. Um, I kind of remember the story for this. I mean, not everything, how it ended and all of that. We're just going to obviously look at the first issue here. Uh, but basically it's about, um, a dude that time traveled and, um, meets his past self. And as he dies, he gives him like a symbiote that you see on, on his chest. This is the star. And then eventually, again, I don't know if this is the old guy who travels into the past and gives himself the star to, you know, relive his life. Um, because something went wrong in the future. To, uh, when does not not something go wrong in the future? And then, uh, you know, right the wrongs. And there goes my dog again. Like clockwork. Anyway. So here we have um, uh, Wildstar. Uh, Al Gordon, co-creator, writer, anchor. Jerry Ordway, co-creator, penciler. Ruben Root, colorist and workman letterer, Bud Shakespeare, letterer, all the optics, the color separators. And 
with a dedication to all of those who came before. So this is um, when image was still being published through Malibu. And uh, shortly thereafter, you know, they would fully go on their own. But for the first year and a half, a couple of years, they were still under the Malibu Comics uh, banner. Um, so this came out in March of 1993. All right. So this was really early in those image in the early history of image and um the the artwork for this um is pretty good um you know it's um uh, if i'm not mistaken jerry ordaway was like one of those uh guys that was in at dc for a long time um you know, typically when you think of like uh, mainstays at DC, you had guys like um, Dan Jurgens and um, uh, George Perez. Although Perez would go back and forth between Marvel and DC. Uh, but I think he's mostly known for his DC work. Uh, well, yeah, uh, what do I know? Um, and. Um, also, uh, you know, uh, so Ordaway was one of those longtime DC guys, right? Um, so when he and uh, Al Gordon decided to like go into image, um, it would seem uh, like um, like whoa, you know. It's not just uh, the young punks, right? It's also the old guard that, that have that want to flex their creativity, uh, right, uh, and do their own thing. So, um, so yeah, it's um, so like I said, the, the 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 style of artwork here is very reminiscent of like that, um, like that I keep keep referring to in, in other books as you know the house style, right? Um, it's very, very, you know, 90s DC work, right? Which is overall nice, right? Um, and very, uh, you know, nicely light, laid out and everything. And, uh, and, and on, on occasion, it'll probably wow you, but you're not going to see, like, huge, uh, you know, major splash pages where the action is coming right at you and all of that you know when you think of like a 90s style comic you know that's um you're not gonna get a lot of that here um just a lot of solid work um um you know just by this opening page um uh, you know you're getting a lot of um uh, story being told typically when you open a comic you start with a big splash page uh but right off the bat we get uh you know some sort of storytelling going on and then uh bam uh, we end up with um with this chick um kicking this guy uh wild star in the face um so um i want to make sure everything is nicely lined up here uh okay and then um but yeah, the cool thing about this also was the colors. Um, the um, some of those early image books had some like uh, they were still trying to figure out the coloring, um, uh, the, the the digital coloring aspect, and um, the um, in terms of like the print quality, because um, a lot of those image books, uh, a lot of image books were still published in like you know typical uh, you know. Uh, paper and later switched to like a uh, matte like a, um, a glossier matte paper and um, where the print uh, where the colors would uh, you know really shine <laughs> not literally uh, but I mean in terms of like really pop uh, right so but uh, the coloring on this book um, 
looks really good. Uh, so it's like they were finding that balance uh, from that typical, uh, you know, stock, you know, pulpy paper, right? And um, before switching over to the finer stuff. Um, so the colors are really clean, not too muddy, right? Uh, not a lot of bleeding, uh, bleed through and everything, right? So really good uh, print quality. So then here we meet the rest of the uh, team that's going after our um, hero here, um, Wildstar. Um, um, <laughs> again, this is, you can tell this is the 90s just by looking at the costumes, right? Um, you got this chick who uh, pretty much has her entire um, middle portion of her upper body exposed, right? Uh, but she's got to keep herself, um, uh, she's got to keep herself warm somehow. So she's got a, a jacket on top of it. Uh, she's got a, a chain uh, for her holster and um, you know you got this chick over here who kind of looks like um, uh, uh, Domino from uh, the X-Men I mean white skin white uh, black uh, spot on her eye and all of that and the typical 90s cybernetic um, dudes right um, so here they, they chase down our uh, hero uh, Wildstar um, so whatever this guy was planning on doing he's accomplishing his mission he, they're trying to stop him from whatever he's doing and this is probably gonna get like the most extreme shot uh, in the books, uh, you know, in the book um, as we move along. Um, not a, um, you can see the action uh, here, right? It's uh, again, very, um, you know, a lot of mid shots, right? You're not gonna get a lot of, like I said, close ups. Uh, or a lot of in your face work. I mean, if this was going to be drawn by somebody else in, uh, in like a 90s style, she would probably be as big as the panel, you know, and all that. So, a lot of more constraint in the, uh, in the artwork, right? When I saw this, um, in um, for the first time, I was like, "Holy shit, that's uh, awesome!" Uh, and just ripping off, because uh, the thing is, uh, some of these guys I don't remember if all, they all have like an um, a symbiote attached to them, uh, but the symbiote, you know, gives them like extra powers and, and whatnot, and um, but once you remove it. Typically, the guy that had this the, the symbiotic thing attached to them, they pretty much die. So, um, there you can see he uh, pretty much ripped the guy's um, face off. And you can see on this shot here, he is, um, is he's pretty much left with a skull face. And there he kills the, um, the symbiote thing. Then I guess the more he uses his power, it, it kind of drains him. But he still has enough strength to punch a woman. Sock. So, it, it, again, it, they're trying to tell like a modern story, but also at the same time, it's very, you know very um like i said these guys came from a different type of um 
way of telling uh, stories, you know, a lot more fun, not so dark, right? Although, I mean, this is pretty grim, this is pretty dark. So, um, I guess this is them like going, oh yeah, we can go, we can do what the young punks are doing. We can show them how things are done, but then you get stuff like this, like, oh, I know the perfect sound effect for this sock. Then again, uh, you know, um, uh, just forgot his name, Jerry Ordway. So a very, you know, like I said, a, a, an accomplished artist. You know, you're not gonna see many. Um, see, this is what I mean. Even though it's just a, a simple panel, but this is pretty much what you think of. Like, like that's like as I was saying with the previous in the previous page, like something like. Uh, something like this where she's not too much in the foreground but here he really went into it uh with the figure in the um, in the background and the and the and the, the figure uh larger in the foreground right that's like the typical you know 90s style of action Although probably one of the the uh, the other artists would have still probably done her larger. So here you see this big dude. He removes his helmet, and we see that he takes off his little um, symbiote thing. He rips it out of his eye. For some reason, he's angry at it. Uh, even every time I need you, you soft, you go soft. Why don't you put out your sun away? So I guess he was angry that it wasn't working. And you can see here how the um, the um, the symbiote suit that Wildstar has uh, it covers his entire body. So a little different than the other guy who has who had his symbiote just covering his face or this guy just covering up his eye So here it looks like our uh, hero is about to meet his end. The guy is pretty much fried. You know, they're actually mad that they almost killed. I was just reading, uh, yeah, for a second there. And I thought he might actually win, right? Talk about illusions. He's always kicked out, but our bus before you scum, dead star. You didn't have to kill him. Well, so this guy's name is Dead Star. So that, I guess they wanted him alive. They didn't necessarily want him dead. But then this ghostly figure calls out to him, Michael. So this is the Wild Stars um, actual name, and uh, this is where at some point he travels into the past. And uh, spoiler alert: this is Michael. So this guy becomes Wildstar. A lot of um, 
nice, you know, simple shots, you know, um, you know, it's a basic, you know, um, two point perspective shot here. But you know, inside um, the the interior shots are, uh, you know, just basically basically laid out you know giving you the the basis of the information so this is um, some sort of tech company right so a lot of those even now you even now in movies you don't see these type of like um, huge console type computers this is what people thought in the 90s computers were gonna super computers were gonna look like little did they know that you know computing power didn't really require a lot of hardware uh, you know who knew uh, as an example you know they always say that um, the technology on a smartphone is greater than the technology used that was that sent the first astronauts to the moon right so um, this is um, an example of like this is what they thought you know supercomputing was gonna look like in the future but little did they know you know with a laptop in 20 what 2022 the um you could probably do pretty much anything right so here we have uh something going on in their office they feel something some sort of seismic earthquake movement so everybody's scrambling what the hell's going on then all just simple storytelling you know nothing gets in the way plenty of room for the word balloons even though there isn't too much dialogue going on this is probably the, pa the panel with most dialogue in it so these guys uh, you know the old school type of guys you know that was their primary focus They're, they didn't really you know want to um, um, for them, the mentality was mentality. Well, I mean, every art, uh, comic book artist is, you know, story first, right? But also, you know, you gotta you gotta tell a story clearly, right? As to what's going on in, uh, as far as in terms of the art. And all the guys, you know, the next. Uh, you know the young uh, artists that came up in the 90s and you know to them literally image was everything you know they had to make everything really flashy um you know typically uh you know this a, a shot like this when you think of like 90s um if you ever had the um the uh the uh, the uh, the wet works they're inside the their helicopter before they drop into the mission the shot was like from in a in a one point perspective but it was really dynamic and everything um in this shot here you got you know like a basic uh, medium long shot um pretty you know basic right so while it's effective you know, there are other ways to make it visually appealing, right? <laughs> and the funny thing is this guy, uh, still with his uh, cap, backwards cap, while wearing the suit. And, uh, here we have um, Michael coming into I think this is where he meets his well, his future self no not yet oh he come he runs across him, this guy and it looks like um one other of the bad guys came along with him 
um, they fight for a little bit and then he proceeds to rip out his um, symbiote large that was a big one you can see little devil is still looking for a dance partner Then he just proceeds to blast the thing. So yeah, it, it looks like the guy. I mean, I thought he was gonna survive, but you can see he didn't. Then he just dropped dead. But again, uh, every time he uses power, apparently something happens to him. Then you see here the other guys. You know, they're still investigating what was uh, happening. At the scene, taking some readings. And here we have um, young Michael meeting his uh, future self. Yeah, here you can see, you know, he calls him Mickey. And how did you know my name? And I need to know who's help with you. Is your father here with you? I bet. And then he's thinking to himself, it really is him. So he, I really made it. So yeah. And then he's trying to tell him everything what's going on. Please, you really got to trust me. It could mean your life. Life on this full lousy planet. She needs our help, Mickey. Then you see the guys uh, investigating the, the whole scene and they come across this guy who uh, Wildstar just killed. They're taking their readings. He looks at the machine that uh, apparently brought them down there. And as they were about to leave, the rest of the crew showed up. And to be continued. So I guess it was in the, um, the next issue where he uh, reveals to him that it's that it's uh, Wildstar is him from the future and then he gives him the, um, the, the star that he has on his chest and uh, continues the story. Let me see who the artist on this one looks cool. Blood Wolf. Strike file. Strike hard, strike fast. No mercy. Oh wait, no, strike first, strike hard, right? The way of the fist. So there you have Wildstar. Um, so yeah, this was a four issue miniseries. And um, uh, like I said, there's nothing too innovative about it. You know, you got symbiotes, you got time travel. And you got uh, guys in armored sim uh, cybernetic suits mixed in with, a, uh, you know, symbiotes that give you powers. And uh, yeah, that's the 90s in a nutshell. Uh, but yeah, it's, it, I thought it was cool at the time, you know, but, uh, you know, uh, they never did anything. I believe there was a second Wildstar uh, miniseries. Uh, but I never got that. Um, but don't quote me on that. I'm not entirely sure. All right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Wildstar image. Thank you for watching. And I'll check you guys 
in the next one.